The Ultimate Diary, Further Daily Jottings of a Contemporary Composer, by Howard Moss, 1975. Monday, drinks here. Picasso, Colette, the inevitable Cocteau, Gide, Valerie, Ravel, and Larry, chit-chat. God, how absolutely dull the great can be. I know at least a hundred friends who would have given their eye teeth just to have had a glimpse of some of them, and there I was bored, incredible lassitude, stymied. Is it me? Is it them? Think latter. Happen to glance in mirror before going to bed. Am more beautiful than ever. Tuesday. Horrible. After organ lesson at seas, he burst into tears and confessed that he loved me. Was mad about me, is how he put it. I was embarrassed. I respect him. He is a great matron and all that. But how could I reciprocate when I myself am so involved with L? I tried to explain. He said he thought it would be better if we discontinued our lessons. How am I ever going to learn to play the organ? Came home upset. Finished barcaroles, gig, danse fantastique and cantata. Writing better than ever. Careful of self-congratulations. So somebody said, John Dunn, fresh mushrooms, delicious. Wednesday, drunk at the dentist's. He removed a molar and cried when I said it hurt. Trajan T. I think he has some feeling for me. The sky was like a red blister over the dome. Streaks of carmine suffused the horizon. Sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't have been a writer. Drunk as I was, I caught a glimpse of myself in a bakery window. No wonder so many people love me. Thursday. Arlity said something profound at lunch. The trouble with homosexuals is that they like men. She sometimes gets to the heart of the matter with all her superficiality. She is leaving M. Talked and talked about it. I found my attention wandering and kept seeing the unfinished pages of the symphony. It is a great hymn to world peace a kind of apotheosis of calmness, though it has a few fast sections. Drank a lot and can't remember much after lunch. Woke up in Bois. Think something happened, but what? To relieve depression, dyed my hair again. Must say it looks ravishing. Ravissant. Friday. Calls from Moriac and Claudel. Why don't they leave me alone? Friday later. Larry back from Avignon. Seems changed. Felt vague feeling of disgust. To camouflage. Worked all day and finished Pavan, song cycles, and sonata. Dedicated latter. Last. To Princess de N. She sent me a Russian egg for my name day. How no? Moreau, Auric, Poulenc, and Mio dropped by. Saturday. Stravinsky angry with me. He said over phone, I must never stop working, working. What about sex? L has left. Should I call C, thinking of it? Press clippings arrived. Is there any other composer under seventeen whose works are being played in every capital of Asia? Matisse said, jokingly at lunch, that I was too beautiful to live. Genius is not a gift. It is a loan. Saturday, later, at state banquet for de Gaulle, misbehaved, slapped his wife in face during coffee, drunk, terribly depressed, but am I not also not a little proud, contrite but haughty, sorry but pleased, can't remember issue, something about Monteverdi, sent her a dozen white roses as apology, the princess says I should get out of town for a while, I will not run away, see back, we are both more gorgeous than ever, Finished War and Peace. A good book. Sunday. Pneumatique from Mallarmé. I will not answer. C and I had picnic. Fell asleep on Seine Bank. Dream. Mother in hippopotamus cage crying. She said if music be the feast, and then gobbled up by crowd of angry deer, what mean? Shaken. C. bought me drink at De Magot. Sweet. Told me he thought there had never been a handsomer man placed on this earth. Forced to agree, after catching tiny glimpse of myself in cafe window, how often are genius and beauty united. They will hate me when they read this diary, but I tell the truth. 
how many can say as much? Monday, a name even I cannot mention, and he wants me to spend the summer in Africa with him. See angry. Finished concerto grosso and hymn to the moon for female voices. Something new, a kind of rough susurration here and there, a darkening of strings. It is raining. Sometimes I think we are more ourselves in wet weather than in dry. Bought linen hat. Tuesday. Gertrude, Alice, James, Joyce, Henry Green, Virginia Woolf, Elliot, Lafourgue, Malame, all is forgiven, Rambo's nephew, Claudel's niece, Miss Dengett, Nadia, Marais, Najinska, Gabin, and the usual for drinks. I did it with Y in the pantry while the party was going on, ashamed but exhilarated. I think if they knew they would have approved. Finished sixty piano pieces for young fingers. Pot boiler. But one has to live. Wednesday. Snow. Hideous hangover. We'll never drink again. Deli dinner with Henry Miller. Thursday. Half the opera comique seems to have fallen in love with me. I cannot stand any more importuning. We'll go to Africa. How to break with sea. Simone de Beauvoir, Simone Signoret, Simone Weil, and Simone Simon for drinks. They didn't get it. Friday. C left. Am bruised but elated. Dentist. I was right. I wonder if he'll dare send me a bill. Now, I mean. Tea with Anaïs. Enchantant. Saturday. René Char and Dior for lunch. Interesting. Clothes are the camouflage of the soul. Leave for Africa with X tomorrow. Had fifty tiny martinis. Nothing happened. Sunday. Barreau, Brock, Seurat, Mayakovsky, Onager, and René Clair saw us off. Very gala. I think I am really in love for the first time. I must say I look marvelous. Many comments. Wore green yachting cap and cinnamon plus fours. Happy. Wednesday, Dakar. Tangled in mosquito netting. Getting nowhere with Chanson d'Afrique. Saturday, back in Paris. God, what a fool I've been. Someday I will write down the whole hideous, unbelievable story. Not now, not when I'm so close to it. But I will forget nothing. Leaving tonight for Princess de N's country place, green trees, green leaves, the piercing but purifying wind of Provence, or is it Normandy? Packed all afternoon, long bath, many thoughts. Proust called, 